Hey, what's up you guys? Tank from New Republic and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to properly attach your web gear. Let's get right to it. Alright, so the first thing to do to set up your web gear properly is you want to take your belt. Quick disclaimer, this belt is not correct for the time period. Um, you just want to take the belt and tighten it to your liking. Alrighty, so once you get your belt tightened, and quick side note with mine, there was a part where the belt, um, just the way this one tightens, where it doubles back and then has a locking mechanism here, but it would bubble right here, so I just took a ranger band, and now it won't bubble anymore, which is great. Um, that probably isn't the same, I don't think it's the same for actual Vietnam belts, but for mine, that's what I did. The next thing that you want to do is take your butt pack, mine is the M1961 butt pack, and you're just going to want to put it right in the middle. And then to attach that, attaching stuff on web here is very easy. You just want to find where you want to attach it. So let's see if that looks metal-ish. You can always kind of slide it. So what you got is these ones are super rusted and gross. But there's this little pull tab. You just pull that up. And then the belt basically slides underneath here on both sides. And then you push this down and it locks it in place. Okay, so I'll just try to demonstrate that for you real quick. So see we're going underneath one side then the other. I'm going to make sure that it's tight between the two. There we go, that's perfect. And then just take the clips and push down and make sure that it goes inside. So see right there, it's not going in. So just make sure it goes inside there. Alright, so moving on to the next step from that is we need to attach the H harness. And then quick side note on the H harness is that you want this side facing your shoulders. And then these are the sides with the wide strap, that's the front. So you want to lay it out like so. And then you'll get these two little clips at the bottom. And then at the top of your butt pack, there's these two little um, grommets, metal grommets. And that's where you want to attach. So just like that. Got your two um, straps attached, so you have the first part of the H harness. And then the side note for mine, I run a little um, flashlight, so a little 90 degree light. And so I put that one on. So looking at it from the front, you have the this would be your left shoulder and your right shoulder. I put the light on the left because I would shoulder the gun on my right. And so it has this little clip on the back right there. And then I just clip that on the little clip on the H harness on the left side. But then it still wobbles around. So I take more Ranger bands. And then I'm just going to put them on. Sorry, you cannot see this whatsoever. I'm just going to put them on here. And then onto the strap. And then I have to do this before I attach it to the front of the belt. Or else I won't be able to attach it. Or I won't be able to put it on the Ranger bands. So take one, put it all the way on top above the switch. And I'll actually put it put it right on the switch. Like so. And take another one and we'll put it like right down here. Just like that. The next thing that we're gonna want to do is grab just take the belt again and we're gonna attach the hooks to the front of the belt. So bring the belt around. I have figured it out. I was originally trying to attach it on the inner layer backwards but what you want to do is you want to have it on the uh, layer closest to you so the hook sticks out. Next thing that we want to do is attach the ammo pouches. Alrighty, so I finally got the um, M56 ammo pouches attached. And then now what you're going to do is that the little strap with hook that goes from the ammo pouch, that clips onto this little hook here. Um, and that allows whenever you have ammo in the pouch, that way it doesn't... Um, it'll stay upright and that means that you can get to it quicker. Going to the canteens, those are simply going to go um, in between your ammo pouches and your butt pack. And then the next thing that we're going to do is the first aid slash compass pouch. That is going to go on your right side right here on this little hook. Just simply put this through. That's where it goes. And then just clip it on. Uh, M56 ammo pouches have a built-in place to where you can put um, grenades so the, the spoon goes in the little thing and then it's got this little strap with a buckle on it and that just goes around and clips in. And then that way if you ever need to use them you just unclip 
and throw. Attach these canteens real quick. And Alrighty, so I just finished putting on the canteen pouches here. Yeah, just basically get you a set of tiger stripes, and then you're good to run as LRRP. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. God bless. If you like Vietnam stuff, I'm doing a short series over preparing for Operation of Rolling Thunder 2, which is a Vietnam theme operation that I'm going to in early August. So if you like Vietnam stuff, then check out the video. I'll have it the first episode linked in the description, the second video comes out on Wednesday. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. God bless. I'll see you guys next time.